Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today we're going to talk a little bit about overdrives. I've got an overdrive all apart. The overdrive belongs to Bob and Gloria, who I put to work over here at the, <laughs> at the tank, cleaning up the outside of the overdrive housing. They've got 600,000 miles on their car. How many miles on this overdrive gearbox? Uh, probably, probably close to 500. Four, maybe, four five, five. maybe four or 500,000 on their overdrive gearbox. So as a result, there's some stuff that's wrong with the overdrive, of course. So come on in here. We're going to take a look. These are the planet gears, planet gear assembly that goes with the uh, on the inside of the of the annulus. So I've just changed this gear here. I've just changed him. He spins nice and free, and there's no there's no sideways motion. There's no up and uh, no free play. It, it's nice. It spins absolutely freely, but it doesn't wiggle. This one on the other hand, if you want to come in close, this one wiggles really badly. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how horrible that, that is. As a result, it whirs when it runs and it um, um, it's chewed up the inside of the annulus where these teeth have been biting against the annulus. We're going to change this. We're changing all these. I, I ended up, come over here, I bought a kit uh, with the uh, axles and, and the bearings, I bought a kit here uh, to change these. Here's the here's the old um, here's the old guy here. But uh, um, anyway, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get in here and change this. I've got to I've got to drive a pin out. I don't know if you can come in and see this or not. It's almost. I, oh, I, actually, first I've got to clean the outside of the housing here where it was dented before. To trap the trap the guy in there, that's probably good now. And um, now we'll try to get the pin out of here. See if he comes out. He's very happy. There he's coming out. You can see him coming out right here. And now I'm going to use a smaller punch and get in here and see if I can get that pin driven. Boy. This is difficult. The first one came apart, of course, very easily, and I said, okay, Sarah, I'm all set. You know, I've done one, now I won't look like a beginner, but look at this. It looks like I'm a beginner here. I did get him to move. There we go. So we got the pin mostly out. Here's the pin in my hand. See, just a little tiny pin. Okay, so we got him. Now we can get the axle out of here. Here's the axle. We've got a new axle. The gear comes out. And probably we'll find that these bearings are just toast. 
So they're all falling out of their housings. They're all falling out here. This is the spacer that goes, uh, this is the spacer that goes between the bearings. So we've got our gear. We'll clean him up just And we'll go ahead and put the put the bearings back in. This is a longer video than than the sum. I got. I always tell people you ha always have a nice clean workbench. This, of course, is a working workbench. It's not a clean workbench whatsoever. We'll get this guy sorted here. Use my nice snap-on quarter-inch drive 7 16 socket and we'll try to get him driven into place. It's pretty good. He's under, under, under uh, a little bit. We'll put the spacer in. And we'll put another, another uh, bearing on top of that. Sure. Start him in just gently. I've got to retrieve the socket from the floor. It would be better to use a press if I had a press. I don't I don't have a press. So this is what I've got to use here. And I believe, I believe, let me get a larger socket. There's a larger socket here in the bottom to, to hold this. I believe, now that I'm into it here, that perhaps that spacer does not belong here. No, well, I guess he does. Center the sky again. Make sure our axle works through here. He's nice, nice and straight. But the bottom still stands proud here just a little bit. Taking a while. Looks pretty good. Is he going to fit in here? No, he's not because that spacer doesn't belong there. We had to take a break there because uh, I don't remember why something wasn't going right. But in any case, I've got the, I've got the two needle bearings inside the gear. Now the gear spins nice and freely doesn't wobble and we're going to go ahead and put that gear in here there's a spacer uh, where's the spacer there's the, here's the there's the spacer here we're going to put this guy in Let's drop our pin down get the pinhole aligned easy for me to say so what am I using here? I'm using the uh, I'm using an old uh, an old main shaft. 
from an from another old gearbox you could you could be using yours it's a whole lot better than putting this, this thing in the vise and uh, crunching it so I'm just gonna get him lined up here and of course that means I gotta get the bottom aligned This will work. There we go. Make sure this is set for the pin. Yep, the pin will go through there. I get get the world's second smallest pin here. Look at this. I mean, this is this is uh, for old people. This is starting to get to be pretty delicate work. I mean, it's not like Sean English who who works on the clocks in his house. That's really delicate work. Sean's a, I gotta grab a pair of pliers to hold this. I'm back. A pair of pliers here. Doing this backwards, I would normally be using my opposite hands, but since Sarah's here and we wanna see what's going on, I'm doing the best I can. I'm using a brass hammer here and I'm not hitting it very hard. So those of you say, oh my God, he's hitting that. I gotta get a punch. Where's my punch? Not a Hawaiian punch. Some other kind of punch here. Oh my gosh. Now I'm back with my punch. Well, it's not going well. It's going on an angle. Let's get him straightened out here best as we can. Try to get this started. Those of you who are watching are going to say, why is he making it look so complicated? But again, I'm doing the best I can here. I'm driving this guy in. He's got to go through the through the axle, but he looks like he's starting to bend. Is that because the axle's not in place? We'll find out here shortly. Try again, see if we can get this to go into place. All I'm doing is bending it, so we're gonna turn the camera off for a minute and I'm gonna get things straightened out. So now I'm working correctly, or for well, with my right hand. So now I can get this pin into place. And I'm going to take my prick punch, which I had here a moment ago, which I can't find. I'll use my little chisel, and we're just going to beat the end of this so that it crimps it, so that there's no chance that that pin is going to fly out during normal operation. So now this one's done. So we got we got uh, th this these two done, and we still have we still have this guy, and he actually sheared. If you want to see this, see if you can get down here. You can see the pin up in here, right there, and and this whole uh, this whole assembly is uh, has been sheared off. So let me see if I can get that out of here. It's 
So this guy failed so badly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Feel this. Look at this. I'm glad we're doing this. So this this is where the pro the real problem uh, was lie was laying. I don't know if I can get that up. There it goes. I'm going to pick it up off the floor and clean it just a little bit. But you can see that that's supposed to be round, right? Well, you, you can tell. Look at the wear on that. Look at the enormous amount of wear here. Oh my gosh. I've never seen... Uh, I've taken very few of these apart but this is this is absolutely I mean it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like straight you know so that gear was wobbling very very badly anyway that's the scoop from today make sure you you subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, watch as many videos as you can I get paid a little something for every time you watch it so I appreciate it and uh, until next time safety fast